In what may be a further hint of what's to come in Vice President Harris's economic speech on Friday, Governor Wall said that he thinks the government should institute paid family and medical leave. Well, before Tim Walz was a politician, he was a teacher at Mankato West High School. The Democratic Party has leaned in hard on his career as a former educator, but today some of Walz's own students appeared at a DFL event to voice their support for his campaign. Quinn Gorham is the story. Some former students of Governor Tim Walls were at the Minnesota State Capitol on Wednesday to make the case for their former teacher, coach, and mentor. Politics aside, the group commended the governor's personality above all else. Unlike a lot of DFL campaign events, this one seemed to focus mainly on Tim Walls' character instead of his policy. Students at the press conference shared why they believe his qualities as a teacher have translated to his political career and why they believe those qualities would make a good addition to the White House. Still, it was clearly a campaign event. Every former student in attendance was in full support of the Harris Walls campaign, and most seemingly planned on voting for the Democratic ticket regardless. There was, however, one attendee who said it was Walls' name on the ballot that convinced him to vote blue. Well, a lot of the other stuff that I may agree with, may not agree with, gets thrown out the window when it co comes to Coach Walls. That man did a lot for me in my life, um, and I owe him the support that he's going to get from me. Walls' personality has been of little note to his detractors, as even Republicans that he's formerly served with, such as Congressman Tom Emmer, have come down hard on the governor's policy. Still, it seems the DFL is looking to bolster public opinion of both the governor's public policy and his persona. Reporting in St. Paul, I'm Quinn Gorham. The governor continued on the campaign trail on Tuesday, heading to Denver and Boston for campaign events.